What's up y'all, Kyle from Driving and Vibing here. Today, I just got back from the Florida RV Super Show in Tampa, where they have all the latest and greatest 2024 units on site. But what I was in search for was the tiny travel trailers with bathrooms, ideally 3,500 pounds or less. And that's what I got for you today. So let's get into the list. Starting us off is the New Camp Barefoot. Now this has a dry weight of 2,135 pounds. The length is 16 feet 7 inches. Fresh water is 26 gallons, while the gray water is 17 gallons, and the black tank, I gotta admit, is a measly 5 gallons. So that might be an issue for you. But as you walk in, you got the kitchen ahead, you got the dinette that breaks down to the cow bed in the right, and uh, a wet bath there in the back. So every one of these small RBs will most likely have a wet bath. You can see it here. You got the sink, the mirror, but also you have the um, toilet and a shower with a drain on the bottom. If you can't stand a wet bath, then you probably can't stand a tiny travel trailer. But you got a two burner stove still and a sink that's not too deep, but it'll, it'll get the job done. Next up is the Airstream Basecamp REI Co-op. If you're familiar with the Basecamp RVs, it's not much different. It just has the REI brand on it, which changes some colors and a few materials here and there. It has a dry weight of 3,500 pounds, 20 feet in length, with a 23 gallon freshwater tank, a gray water tank of 28 gallons, and a whopping 21 gallons of black water, which is pretty good in an RV of this size. It does have the bridge, you've got the kitchen with the um, multiple stove tops. That's the dinette that breaks down into a bed for sleeping. But uh, overall, this is one of the better setups. It's also one of the more spent units. So you get what you pay for when you get an Airstream. Next up on the list is the TLRV Rove Light. This was an interesting unit to me because it has a fun exterior paint job but uh, it's also pretty light coming in at 2,000 pounds in, or 2,075 pounds to be exact. 16 feet and six inches in length, 10 gallons of fresh water, 30 gallons of gray water, and again, a small black water tank of five gallons. There you see the dinette breaks down into a bed, the wet bath right here, similar to the other ones you've seen. So not much difference as far as the amenities that you're going to get. Good spare tire on the back though, so you can always uh, come in handy having one of those. Next up is the Little Guy Mini Max. One of my favorite that I have to say that I saw because again, you get that fun exterior graphic on the outside. And uh, it, uh, let's see the specs of this one actually. 2,400 pounds is how much it weighs. 17 feet in length. You got fresh water tank of 20 pounds, gray water, I mean gallons. You got a gray water tank of 30 gallons and a black water tank of nine gallons. So all of those tanks are a fairly decent size. Wet bath right there. And then the dinette again that breaks down to the bed. There's a better view of the wet bath with the shower heads that are actually removable. That's can come in handy when you're using a wet bath. So a pretty good setup there. Got that rear back window to really lighten it up. Seems like it has more space than it actually does. And some storage. You can never go wrong with a little bit of storage. There you see the two burner uh, grill up top and the sink which is a little deep so that's nice. Got you good. You can get a good cook done there. Next up is the 2024 Soul Rover. We love the Soul RVs because of those front windows. They are just beautiful and when you get inside, they open up so much space and so much light. This has a dry weight of 3,370 pounds. It comes in at 19 feet in length and you got a fresh water of 28 gallons. No gray water from what I can tell, but a black water of 32 gallons. So it seems like there's simply one waste tank that does the gray water and the black water. An interesting idea, which we haven't seen in any of these other tiny travel trailers. There's a dinette, breaks down to the bed right by that big window. 
They have a lot of accent lighting in these units too. It's typical with all of the Soul RVs. That's one of the fun things that we like about it. A nice looking sink there, pretty deep. And then you've got the uh, burners up top. A little oven there down at the bottom. Let me know what you think about all of these new, small, tiny travel trailers. Which one was your favorite? I'm always on the lookout for the tiny travel trailers with the bathrooms because I think for first timers or for off gridders, they're the best units to get in that'll have you exploring with the least amount of headache you can have. So uh, let me know what you think. Kyle here, again, driving and vibing. We'll see you next time.